In today's video, I'm going to explain the balance theory. It was developed by social psychologist Fritz Heider in 1946. The theory was originally developed to explain patterns of interpersonal relations, but it has been it has been applied to study attitudes and opinions about many items such as physical objects, ideas, events, and brands. Heider explained that a balance must exist between interpersonal relationships so that psychological harmony can be achieved. If two or more people share similar ideas about something, there is not likely to be any tension or complication surrounding this idea in the relationship. The key notion with balance theory is that, the, that certain structures are balanced whereas others are imbalanced. Balanced structures are usually preferred over the imbalanced ones. Imbalanced structures are associated with uncomfortable feelings and this is what leads people to see achieve balance. Heider suggested that likes and dislikes are related to balance and imbalance. So how does the balance theory work? Heider explained how balance theory works by developing a, a model which examined interpersonal relationships. The reactions of each individual are framed within a triangle that Heider called the POX model. Each corner of the triangle represents a different element. P is the person to analyze, O is the other or the comparison person, and X is the third element for comparison. It could be a third person, it could be a physical object, idea, brand, event. So the relation between Relation patterns between three individuals or objects are often referred to as triadic relations. Now, this relationship between the individuals or the objects on the POX model can be either positive or negative, and this is what can determine if a relationship is balanced or not. A triadic relationship is thought to be balanced when it includes either no negative relations or an even number of negative relations. For instance, three positive relations are balanced as well as two negative relations with one positive relation. This would be a situation that is psychologically comfortable. In contrast, a triad is imbalanced when it includes an odd number of negative relations such as having one negative relation and two positive. This is a situation which would be psychologically uncomfortable according to the balance theory. So let's look at, a, look at an example of balance theory. Heidel explained the balance theory by applying a simple uh, example which was a friend's friend is my friend. So Deepika's friend Anushka likes Kohli. So Deepika becomes Kohli's friend. My friend's enemy is my enemy. So Anushka likes Deepika but Deepika does not like Ranbir. So Ranbir is an enemy of Deepika, so Anushka also starts to dislike Ranbir. My enemy's friend is my enemy. So Deepika does not like Ranbir and Ranbir likes Alia. That means Deepika will start disliking Alia. My enemy's enemy is my friend. So Deepika's enemy is Ranbir. Ranbir does not like Kangana. So Kangana and uh, so, so Deepika becomes close to or starts liking Kangana. So how it is applied from a marketing perspective? An example of a balanced relationship would be I like Ronaldo. I like going to gym. Ronaldo likes going to the gym. So all positives, there is psychological harmony. Alternately, if I like Ronaldo, Ronaldo does not like tattoos and I also do not like tattoos. This would also be balanced. P plus O, P minus X, O minus X. So two negatives, one positive, it is balanced. An unbalanced relationship would be I like Ronaldo. Ronaldo does not like Pepsi, but I like Pepsi. So P plus O, P, P minus X, O plus X. Uh, now, due to the psychological discomfort of, of this unbalanced relationship, I may be more likely to change my attitude towards Pepsi. 
because of my positive relationship with Ronaldo. Alternatively, if I do not like Messi and I like Adidas, but Messi also likes Adidas. So this is also unbalanced. P minus O, O plus X, O plus X, two positives and one negative. So this is an unbalanced relationship. So having the same attitude as someone you dislike can also feel uncomfortable. So I may be more likely to change my attitude to make it dissimilar to that of Messi who I dislike. Balance theory supports the view that we are more likely to have similar attitudes and interests to people we like. Since it is uncomfortable to have conflicting attitudes to our friends and loved ones, we are also likely to have dissimilar attitudes to people we do not like. Humans search for consistency between their attitudes and the relations with others to make the balance neutral. However, if there is an inconsistency between relations and perceived imbalance, humans tend to seek modifications to reach a consistency and thus cognitive harmony of the situation again. In this way, balance theory describes how humans are motivated to change their attitudes.